Hi, welcome to another video. So today, I'm talking about the new model from the guys at ZAI called GLM 4.6. And I'll also be talking about the tests of Claude 4.5 Sonnet in this video as well. And then I'll also compare both of them. So, I'll first start with GLM 4.6, then move to Sonnet, and then move to the comparison and my thoughts. For GLM 4.6, they were very kind to give me early access to this model to test it and share my thoughts about it on the day of launch. So, you should be seeing this when it has been launched, or maybe an hour or two before the official launch. Now, GLM 4.6 is a successor of the GLM 4.5 model, which in itself was already one of the best open weights coding models, especially when you consider their coding plans, which are one of the cheapest options. Anyway, GLM 4.6 only comes in one flavor, which is the big 355 billion parameter mixture of experts model with about 35 billion active parameters. There's no GLM 4.6 air model yet, which can be a bummer for some as many people really liked that model for local inference. Anyway, from what they have told me, it is supposed to be a version that is on par, if not better, than Claude 4 Sonnet. Since they gave me access, Claude 4.5 Sonnet has also been launched. So, I'll be comparing it to that as well. It has a better context limit of about 200,000 context which is an improvement from the previous 128,000 context window, meaning that it now matches Claude's context limit too. Apart from that, they also say that it supports tool augmented reasoning, achieving top performance among open source models on multiple evaluation benchmarks. They also say that it better aligns with human preferences in terms of style, readability, and role-playing scenarios. It also further improves performance on cross-lingual tasks. That is what I have been told, and I can now show you what my testing results are with this model. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. In the pure raw test, where I don't do agenic stuff, but just ask it to answer questions, GLM 4.6 scores about the fourth position on my leaderboard without reasoning and fifth with reasoning which is really good. Like, really good for sure. 4.5 Sonnet and Opus are still at the top by a little bit bigger margin, but the price to performance ratio and it being open weight is awesome. I think that this is one of the best open models now, especially for coding. It beats the previous Sonnet for sure. The reasoning variant is only for people who need to do planning as it doesn't generally fetch a lot of performance in plain coding. I'd recommend the GLM 4.6 general model for most users, and that is what I've been using. It's really good. Like the floor plan is pretty decent, and it is kinda good for sure. The Panda SVG is also fine, and you can see what is happening. The poke ball that it makes is also kinda decent, but the best one was the chessboard where it works pretty well, and works as intended, which is really great for sure. The moves that it makes are legal and everything, which is great. The butterfly flying in the garden is also pretty great. You can see that it works well, and the physics is great. 
The wings are not the best shape, but that's fine. But this is just the general questions. Most of you would want to use it with agents, and I have some simple agent tests. It now scores the second position, and I'm extremely impressed with this model. Like after this, there's no way that you would say that Sonnet is the best. Like really, you can't say that anymore. Let me just show you the stuff that it generates in literally one shot. First is the Movie Tracker app. You can see here that this is the best one that I have seen yet. This uses Expo and the TMDB API. And you can see that there are some font issues, but it's so good looking. The experience and animations of things opening are really very good. And this is just one generation. I have used Kilo Code for all the tests here. And many people used to have issues where it didn't interact well with Kilo and Roo and Klein. But those issues are now fully fixed. And it works really well without any problems. The second thing I asked it to do is create a Go-based calculator that is graphical, but in the terminal. You can see that this is also one of the best ones, and this actually scales with the terminal size and everything, which is so good and works really well. The next one that was really lacking with GLM was that it couldn't really work with Godot, but Sonnet was great with it. However, now it's great at it. I asked it to edit an FPS game and add step tracking and a health bar that is affected by jumping. And it did this in one shot. You can see that it interacts pretty well and the bar is pretty good and it's just better overall. Previously, it just wasn't able to do this, but now it is able to do it quite well. The settings to change the target also work and you can change everything. The open code repo question doesn't work and it fails. So, this was a fail. But the generations were really good, the quality was amazing, and it scored the second position on the agentic leaderboard. I can surely say that this is the best open model yet for coding. Nothing beats it. But after these tests, Sonnet 4.5 also launched, and I also tested it. The 4.5 Sonnet Without Reasoning is now at the top, followed by 4.5 Sonnet Max Reasoning and 4.1 Opus Max Reasoning. So basically, it's similar performance in both reasoning and non-reasoning. I had hoped that the non-reasoning models could answer the two super hard math questions, but unfortunately, it can't do that, and it doesn't have any good upsides in coding. So. The non-reasoning still prevails. If I were to show you some of the results, then the floor plan is kind of good. It is still not perfect, as you can see that the walls are not aligned to the floor and stuff. But still, I'd say that this is one of the best generations. Opus generation is still better than this, but it also costs a ton more. The SVG of a panda holding a burger is not expected. This just doesn't look good, and I didn't expect that from a model of this caliber. The Pokeball in 3JS is great, but it has some quirks, like the button not being placed well. The chessboard is pretty good, but again, it has some quirks, like the moves being extremely dumb. GLM actually makes some good moves and captures wherever it has the option, which I like. But still, this works. The web version of Kandinsky-style 3D Minecraft is also pretty good, and you can navigate and stuff, but the leveling of the floor isn't fully right. The butterfly flying in a garden simulation is also not the best, but still, it's good. That's majorly it. It also can't answer the two super hard math questions correctly, even with a lot of reasoning. So, there's that. Now let's talk about the agentic tests. Let's actually just get into the app demos. So, the Movie Tracker app. Here, it is way better than the previous four Sonnet versions. It is much more cohesive, but it still struggles with removing the top title bar from the Expo apps. 
and it also still asks me to hardcode the TMDB API key in the source code, which is something that all versions of Sonnet have been notorious for. So, I don't really get why it does this, and it is still not fixed. So, even if Anthropic says that it is the most safe model, then I don't think that's true. It is still not great at following the simplest of security practices for coding, but the design and stuff is still good. However, GLM tries to squeeze as much as it can out of the one prompt that I gave it and make something that I think is better. Yes, the calendar view is not great, but it made it alongside some more pages. The home page and inner pages are actually really good. I think that it's better objectively. Then there's the question to make a calculator GUI in Go, and it makes it really good. Previous Sonnet was not great at this, but this works and looks good. However, this is not as responsive to terminal sizing as the GLM model is. So, there's that, but this is also great. Now, the Gato game question. And well, it was interesting. It wrote the code for the life bar and jump mechanics, but it didn't implement it into the main scene. I don't know why, but it didn't do it, and it felt just lazy. I tried the same prompt multiple times, and it always happened. It seems to be more of a lazier model. Anyway, I asked it to implement it, and it did that, and now it looks like this. I don't really like this. The lines are amazingly big, super long, and not aligned, and it could have been done in a super small UI, but it doesn't really do it well here. Previously, it was kind of good, but now it seems to be a bit worse in Godot. The open code question is still a fail for this. Now, it scores the fifth position for me. I obviously tested it with Claude Code, and I think that this is not better than GLM 4.6 in general coding. I don't really enjoy Claude Code anymore. It's super high cost. It's not any better. And I don't think that I will be using this model. I had already shifted to GLM 4.5 with their plan, and the GLM 4.6 just seals the deal for me because it's really good. It's open. It's cheap. Like, you can't tell me that it costs Anthropic $3 and $15 for input and output in this model to do inference. You can't say to me that this is like a 2 trillion or 3 trillion parameter model. And if it is, then it's a very bad performing model comparatively. I don't think Sonnet or Anthropic has the moat anymore to be the best coding model. Once you use GLM 4.6, especially with the super cheap plans that they offer, I don't think you can go back. I won't be using Sonnet 4.5 anymore unless there is a significant improvement. It just feels like they first nerfed Sonnet 4 and then brought the original checkpoint back with Sonnet 4.5. So, yeah, I can't believe they have the audacity to not make the models cheaper over the last two years, while only increasing performance by like 10% and just training on the benchmarks. I know that it's a good model, but the charge of this model is not something I would recommend anyone to use. It is not worth the price you're paying, and doing it more will only make them more confident to charge even higher. By using something like GLM, you are supporting open weight models. So, yeah, I'm not happy with Sonnet, but I am super happy with GLM 4.6, and the current AI coder of choice for me is surely GLM 4.6. They listen to developer and user feedback and work on real use cases. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.